Hey guys, welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. You'll see this week I've replaced the whiteboard with a flip chart. We're gonna see how that goes. I might hate it and we'll end up with a whiteboard again next week. See how we go. Today's video is called Skidding or Twisting or Why Don't My Tires Go Where I'm Asking Them To? I'll never forget the first time where I was at the track, it was in probably, I don't know, 2002 or 2003 and I moved the seat back on a go-kart and I got more front grip and I was completely befuddled. I had no idea what had just happened. I was utterly confused. My whole world came crashing down. At that point, I thought I'd started to get the gist of how carts worked, and suddenly it did something completely unexpected. I moved the seat backwards, and yet I got more front grip. It didn't make any sense to me, and I was really, really confused, and I think that was the day my mind twigged. Karting's not that simple. It's actually a really complicated set of uh, boundary conditions that are controlling how the cart's going to perform and it takes years and years of experience and a whole lot of analytical thought to work out exactly how to get your cart to perform. So like everything in karting, this is a non-linear relationship we're about to describe and if you've forgotten what that means, I did do a video on it a month or two ago, but non-linear relationships basically mean that everything on a go-kart is kind of like the jetting. No fuel is bad, cart doesn't go very good. Bit more fuel is better, bit more fuel better again until you get to the perfect amount when the cart goes as fast as it possibly could and more fuel than that actually makes the performance worse. More fuel than that again eventually, hey the cart will just stop. So non-linear relationships are ones where more of something is good until you get to a point and then it dips away again. And basically that's everything on a go-kart. Just the right amount is going to give you great performance and any more or less than that will see the performance start to degrade. So, what we're going to talk about now is why tyres don't go where you ask them to. So this is when you're, you're driving the cart and you, either the front end wants to understeer, it pushes across the track and you can't get the thing into the corner, or you turn in and the rear end's super tail happy and the cart oversteers and the rear's trying to overtake the front. So usually the word we use to describe that action is sliding. So the driver will come in and say, ah, oh, the front tyres are sliding, I just can't get them to pull into the corner, or I turn the steering wheel and the rear end just slides out. Now the act of sliding, that is where the tyre doesn't go where we want it to go, there's actually two different possible causes of sliding. And what I want to do now is I want to define two words so that we can talk about exactly what we really mean, rather than just say sliding, which doesn't actually tell us which one of those two it could be. So the first one is skidding. And skidding happens when the tyre actually skips across the track. It's not gripping enough to bite into the track and hold it there. So skidding happens a lot in the wet, for example, because there's very little grip. And also when the tyres are really cold, you'll turn the steering wheel and the front tyres just skid across the track because they're so cold they can't generate any grip. So that's skidding. That's the rubber actually skidding across the ash belt because it's not making any grip. And that's the one that most people are aware of. Skidding, everyone knows what it is, right? So what's the second one? The second one is twisting. And this is what we've talked about in the recent videos talking about slip angle. It's where the rubber is actually gripping the road and gripping it very well, but the tire is twisting so that the rubber is not pointed where the rim's pointed. And there's an angle between the two, which is called slip angle. So that'll happen when you do have a lot of weight and a lot of grip between the rubber and the road, but the tire being made of rubber twists and you get that angle. And Carters use the word sliding to mean both skidding and twisting. But the cause of the two is exactly the opposite, which is the reason why we have to, when we say the word sliding, what we really want to say is, hey, it's sliding and I think it's because it's skidding, or the cart's sliding and I think it's because the tire's twisting. So what I want to do is teach you how to identify which of those two is happening, because that's going to allow you to solve the problem rather than just start guessing. So, as I usually do when I'm trying to convey something pretty complicated, I'm going to get my pen out and draw us a bit of a diagram. So, it's another graph. And on the x-axis, this way, we're going to label that weight. So this is the amount of weight pushing down on the tyre in the corner. And the y-axis heading up here is grip. This is the amount of grip that the tyre is generating. And really what I mean by grip actually is the amount of side load that it generates to push the cart around the track. So if we start with no weight, we have no grip, right? And if we start to add weight, we get more and more grip. So we come up on an angle like this. 
Now, the misconception that exists in karting is that more weight equals more grip all the time. And in this section of the tyre's performance, that's true. If you don't have enough weight, the tyre skids. It actually skids across the track because it's not making enough grip. But it's a non-linear relationship and we get to that point where the weight starts to taper off and we get to a maximum amount of grip that the tyre is able to create. And beyond that point, adding additional weight actually makes the tyre's performance worse. So this top point here, which is the most performance that the, that tyre can generate, I'm going to call that the tipping point. That's the maximum amount of grip, the maximum amount of side load, the maximum amount of cornering speed that that tyre can contribute to. And there are a number of things that will affect where that tipping point is. Obviously, the compound of the tyre, whether it's a hard compound tyre or a soft compound tyre, the temperature of the tyre, the temperature of the track, the condition of the track, all these things will change where that tipping point is and change the exact amount of weight that's going to be perfect to maximise the amount of grip that the tyre can make. There are literally hundreds, I don't know, maybe thousands of variables that contribute to working out exactly where this point ends up. And I don't think, as go-karters on the limited budgets that we have, that we can really ever know exactly where it is. So what we're going to do over the next few weeks is talk about the signs that tell you whether you're on this side of the tipping point and the tyre is skidding, or if you're on that side of the tipping point and the tyre is twisting because that will allow you to make the correct change to bring it back to that perfect tipping point right in the middle where you get the maximum amount of grip and the maximum cornering speed. Have a chat down the bottom in the comments. What do you reckon are the signs that tell you if you're on this side of the line or that side of the line? Are you twisting or skidding? Catch you next week.